An opportunity for an all-inclusive experience runs up at the Gate River Run next month. Now we have Stephanie Young here representing Challenge Enterprises and Robert Raisman is here for the ability experience to talk about the run for inclusion and get us all to the starting line. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. So uh, the ability experience, people know a little bit about Challenge, but talk about the ability experience. So the, the ability experience is the uh, national philanthropy of Pi Kappa Phi fraternity, and we're the only national fraternity that has our own nonprofit corporation. Um, and so we, we do a number of events, our signature events called the Journey of Hope, where we cycle across country. Um, but we also do, we have alumni who put together events uh, called Ability Experience Challenges. And so um, some of us that are UNF alumni here in Jacksonville uh, wanted to put together one for the Gate River Run. Uh, we said, you know, we've got this awesome 15K. It's one of the biggest ones in the country. This would be an, an outstanding event for us to do. And so we started doing it uh, back in 2020. Uh, so this will be the fifth year that we're doing it. Um, and uh, so we partner with Challenge Enterprises and we, uh, we get the racing wheelchairs. So we get people with physical disabilities who otherwise wouldn't be able to participate in the run. Um, and then we also have a number of uh, athletes that run. Um, so we, we actually have people from, uh, from Challenge that started out as riders that now run the 5K. Oh, that's awesome. So we've awesome. been really successful with that. So that's what the whole run for inclusion experience is about. Now, in that inset, since you guys started five years ago, what are your numbers? How have you guys kind of expanded and grown? Well, we, we uh, you know, of course we hit COVID after we started, and so we had a little dip there. Um, last year was the biggest one that we've had, and we had uh, over 60 runners. Uh, so far this year, we've got 53 who have uh, committed to do the 15K. We've got a few that are doing the 5K, and then we also do uh, the One Mile Fun Run with uh, Brooks. So, Stephanie, speak a little bit on the challenge enterprises aspect of things and having your people be included in such a momentous occasion. Well, I know everybody knows that Challenge Enterprises helps adults with disabilities find meaningful employment and residential stability, but I think you also have to learn to have fun. And this is one of the ways that we have fun, is we do things like the Run for Inclusion, we have other things we participate in. But I, I think as soon as we finish the Run for Inclusion, on March 3rd, my people will be talking about next year and how they're going to win and they're going to get a medal. They literally look forward to this every single year. Getting that medal, watching them get the medal at the finish line, it, I get tearful every year. And it really is that third component that makes a life full and complete for individuals with disabilities. So what is this year's Run for Inclusion going to be uh, include? Or, yeah, include. <laughs> include, right. So we do have our, our runners that are doing the 15K um, and some are in a push trike. Um, I actually have a runner that works for Shipboard out in Mayport, hey, uh, who runs on his own. He's going to be competing, runs a 10-minute mile from what I'm told. Uh, we have 5K runner walkers, and then we have a few that are going to be doing, I'm actually going to get to do Challenge Mile this year. So we have a few doing the Challenge Mile as well. And everybody has opportunity to come in and have breakfast in the morning with our crew. We make sure everybody gets to the start lines. We have a big tailgate party in the athletics um, village afterwards. And we just really celebrate this opportunity for inclusion in all athletics. So so we, uh, I figure registration is kind of locked down now for this year, but... Well, if you, if you go on the challenge website, challengeenterprises.org, we'll still let you oh, register. Yeah. If you go to the event page, you can still register. I'll, I'll squeeze you in, <laughs> but right. you probably need to get it done by early next week. All right. Because we so, got t-shirts to order, so... <laughs> so she told you where you can go, and even if you can't participate, they will definitely accept donations because yeah. it goes a long way to their programs here and for next year's event. And you guys usually have something in May, too, with bikes and stuff. We'll talk about yeah, we'll that. We'll get, get to that in May. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you can go to challengeenterprises.org and click on the Gate River Run banner and find out more. Now, we're going to connect with Jana at the library after the break, but let's check out a weather snapshot brought to you by Paramount Builders.